there everybody obviously i'm not in the building today i did take some days off to start vacation a little bit early but we're fortunate enough to have a guest teacher joining us and i've already put in the sub plans that every single person out there watching this video right now knows exactly what to do in our classroom to be safe be respectful and be responsible so please help our guest teacher out today so the project that you're going to be making today is a little bit different than the stuff that we've been doing in class it's a project that hopefully you can get finished today since it's going to be wet paint it is going to have to stay on the drying rack but please please come by after school or right before you go home at the end of the day and pick it up and what we're going to be working on is just kind of painting a little christmas tree since we're using acrylic paint, it will stain your clothes, so make sure you're wearing a paint shirt or an apron. Also, be sure to wash your brushes and dry them out when you're done with them. Our guest teacher is also going to pick a couple kids to help do that, so if you're interested, please let our guest teacher know that you're willing to help out with washing and drying brushes. Any project that we had going on in class, we'll uh, keep working on it when I come back and see you again in January, so don't sweat it. I'll keep all your projects safe. Please remember to keep your mask on in class, and we are going to need an apron or a paint shirt. The paint shirts are over there on the cart by the kiln room door. But so you can actually hear and understand me, I'm going to take my mask off because, well, the room is empty. So let's get this thing started. Each table is going to share one water container and a paint tray. Now you have two different colors of green on there, and you have white plus all three primary colors, so you should be able to get a ton of different color on this Christmas tree project. Each kid needs their own big paper with their name on it their own paintbrush and their own paper towel to wash and dry that brush when they switch out their colors. First thing I'm going to do is start with a light green and I'm going to end up painting three green triangles. Paint big. Right now I have a very basic simple tree but I can come back now and fill in some of the triangular shapes that I left open to make it look less like three green triangles and more like a tree. I would encourage you to try tinting your paint, and that just means that we have added white to it to make it a little bit lighter. The paint we're using today will dry quite quickly, and if it stays wet, it can be blended. Otherwise, if it dries, it's gonna look similar to what I'm doing now, but it's a great way to get some different green values. I'm gonna switch now to some darker green paint, and I would like you to experiment with adding some darker green paint in at the bottom of each triangle. So it kind of starts to make it look like there's layers and layers of branches. I'm satisfied with my tree. Now, before I switch to any other colors, I do want to give my brush a good wash and also make sure I dry it out. And just a quick reminder on color mixing, when you add red and yellow paint together, it makes orange, blue and yellow make green, and a little bit of blue mixed in with red will make purple for you. I'm going to switch and end up mixing some colors so I can add some Christmas lights on here. But this brush is way too big, so now that it's clean, I'm going to go grab a clean brush. Swapped out that big old brush for something a little bit smaller, and I'm just going to mix a little bit of red in with some yellow paint so I get a little orange color, and I'm going to make some Christmas lights. Before I mix another color, I'm going to clean my brush out again, but maybe this time I want some regular old yellow Christmas lights. I have several different color lights on my tree now. I'm going to wash that brush out again. And I'm going to make it look like that kind of garland looking stuff. So I think this time I'm going to add a little bit of blue and mix it with my white and really tint that blue into a nice light blue. And I'm going to string some garland. Well, my garland's going to dry. I think maybe I'm going to paint some multicolored Christmas gifts underneath my tree. So I've got kind of a light purple and red happening there. Make sure I wash my brush in between colors. And I think I'm going to add a nice bright yellow present and then several other. I hope you left some space at the top because now that I clean my brush, I think the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a nice bright star. Bristles up, please. I'm going to let this beautiful Christmas tree dry for a few minutes. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to wash my hands and use soap. And I'm also going to pick up a brown marker from way over here on the cart. That brown marker is just going to become the tree trunk of my Christmas tree. 
Now that my tree has a trunk, I can swap out this brown marker and I can add some stuff like extra presents or maybe some floor or ground under my tree and also maybe some ribbons and bows on my Christmas presents. I check to make sure that paint's dry. It's dry. So I'm going to add some ribbon to that Christmas present and add a bow on top. brushed your paint on thin it's going to dry quite quickly but if you notice any reflections that means that your paint is still wet so any projects that are completely dry you can take with you right now most projects are going to end up going over here in the drying rack don't worry your project's going to stay on the drying rack just until it's dry at the end of the day if you want to come by at the end of the school day, right after the last bell before you go home, please feel free to do that. You can pick up your project then. Our guest teacher is going to keep track of everything, so you can come by after school and pick it up. If it's okay with your teacher, you can stop by a little bit before the last bell of the day and pick it up then. So it's really important to make sure that you have your name on your project. Lastly, before you take off today, Please make sure you clean up the room just like you would if I was actually in the room. Our guest teacher has been awesome enough to let everybody paint, so please make sure you repay them in kind by cleaning up after yourselves today. Wash the brushes, dry the brushes, make sure your tables look nice and clean, and wash your hands with soap and water. Don't forget to wear that mask. I'm going to put mine on right now. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you in January.